go. We are going to go in alphabetical order and we are going to start with uh, Altamara. Alina, you are up. All right, thank you so much. I wanna make sure that everyone can hear me. Okay, so hi, I'm Alina, the founder of Altamara, and we're taking a minimalist approach to custom sustainable skincare powered by green chemistry. Next slide, please. Okay, so clean beauty today, even though it's known as being more health and environmentally conscious compared to traditional beauty brands, there's still a lot of challenges in this space. To start, there's a lack of data in terms of their ingredients efficacy, source, and um, safety. And there's also an issue with increased unsustainable sourcing due to higher natural product demands. And what this can lead to is competition with food crops, depleting natural resources, harming communities, and creating unfair labor conditions. And finally, a space that clean beauty has not navigated is making skincare easier for the consumer. So moving on to the next slide. Our approach is creating a first simpler solution for the consumer through a minimal line of products targeting the essentials. So you have your baseline products to use every day, and then you have add-on products to use should your skin go through any changes. We're also ensuring that our customers are receiving our transparency through us sharing our ingredient research with them, as well as how our processes continue and any supplier information that we're allowed to share. And finally, we're using green chemistry to create a fully sustainable supply chain with the best possible ingredients for your skin. And next slide. We are targeting a very rapidly growing market in the US. And as you can see, it's mostly catered towards millennial women. This is the demographic that is most passionate about shopping healthy, clean beauty, as well as sustainable beauty now more recently. And they're also looking to simplify their skincare routine, whether it's to save time or because the reality is you don't need a lot of products to have your best skin. Next slide. So our business model starts with pricing our products to cover development, manufacturing, and overhead costs. We're selling direct to consumer right now through our website, altamarabeauty.com, and we're engaging with people through word of mouth, press. More recently, we were featured in uh, British Vogue, and we are also on social media. We have incentives in place through sample programs for newsletter signups, recurring customer discounts, reviews for discounts as well. And our goal is to end up in mid to large size retailers. So we're trying to look at pop-up shops. 30 seconds. Thank you. And exploring that space right now. And recently we made a partnership with Addit, which is an organization that's going to present our brand to different retailers for us. So that's going to be a really big help as well. Next slide. So I want to thank you all for being here with me today. Please give us a follow at Altamara Beauty on Instagram and our website, Altamara Beauty newsletter, to receive some free samples and our efforts can access to simplified, sustainable skincare. Thanks so much. Awesome. Alina, thank you. Thank you for your presentation. Okay, now we're gonna go to four minutes of question and answer and I'll turn it over to Marie Roca. Thank you so much. Um, so would a judge like to go first or should I go to the, the audience? No question. Um, one, uh, thank you so much, Alina, for your presentation, but how? what's the cost of your products? Uh, we have a cleanser and a moisturizer right now. Um, the cleanser is $16. The moisturizer is $25. And your margins? Our margins on average are at about 80% pro uh, profit margin. Great. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Did you say 8% or 80%? You broke up for me. I don't know. If, uh, I'm sorry? 80%. Okay. Thank you. I'll go to Wes um, 
what is your current production model, contract manufacturing, in-house manufacturing, or white labeling? So right now I produce all the products myself. I create the formulations. I fill the products. Um, we are ex we have started looking at contract manufacturers and receiving quotes from them. Um, and as for labeling, um, we're not doing white labeling. Thank you. Tomas, it looked like you had a question. Yes, uh, I was gonna ask about uh, competition. Like uh, this is a really competitive space. Like how are you trying to stand out? So our competitors, we have three main competitors that are also looking more into the green chemistry space. Um, however, they don't do any kind of um, assistance in tailoring the products to the customer's specific skin needs. They have a little bit more of an extensive line. And what we're trying to do is to merge sustainability with um, a very simple type of customization service for our customers that will be further built out on our website whenever we develop our add-on products, which are currently in development right now. And that's how we're um, standing out more. And also the, their price point is much, much higher. One of them is at $400 for an hour in the Alina, uh, is she breaking up for everyone else? Okay. Alina, um, we're having trouble hearing you. You're breaking up a little bit. I don't know if you can. Hey, Alina, turn off your video and see if that helps. Okay. Okay, is, is this a little bit better for sound? Yes. All right, um, so just in case to reiterate uh, Tomas's question, um, we are looking at sustainability as well as tailoring skincare products to our customers and we're doing it at a more affordable price point versus what our competition is doing. Um, I'm gonna go to the audience um, as a, from Christos. As a dermatologist, we prefer to embrace products that lack plant products, which are known, well-described contact allergens. What data endorses the effic efficacy of one of these, such as mango extra extract? Um, so if I understood the question correctly, um, the person was asking, how we are checking for allergen safety? Yes, as long as well as um, whether it's um, what data you can offer in terms of efficacy. Uh, oh yes, so we mostly go through research journals that have published data on um, skin testing with the ingredients that we're using. So anytime that jour a journal has that information in terms of efficacy and safety, that's what we go by. And then we also supply that journal on our website. And time is up for the questions. Great, thank you. Um, Alina, I encourage you to reply to some of the rest of the questions in the Q&A. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. No problem, thank you. Alina, thank you for your presentation. It was really great.